okay hello hi guys uh today we will continue from our last chapter uh we're still on power machine n5 and um, today we'll be talking about heating of gases so uh under heating of gas we will concentrating uh more on uh what you call on our work done so remember last time when we talk about work done um they said uh this is our work work done we said um and on forces it's a force multiplied by displacement right or uh, or a distance right so now um to convert this formula into uh, a process of um in case of a pressure and a volume so we're going to uh, look at uh, the formula for pressure so when we're talking about pressure we know that pressure is equal to force over area right so uh, every time when you calculate pressure, it's equal to force over area. Then for force, to make force subject of the formula, it's going to be what? It's going to be uh, F is equal to the pressure multiplied by area. So therefore, we're going to substitute this formula on the our force here. So that means now work done becomes it becomes um, pressure multiplied by area multiplied by uh, the displacement we can say it's a uh, is also a stroke length of a pl uh, of a plunge or something so let's say we are compressing something like this and then we are applying a force here so this force when it's applied here it will cause a stress inside so that's why we're going to have the uh, the pressure that is coming and this side and then uh, this is going to be your stroke length Right, so this stroke length, um, we can then substitute the stroke length by saying this length is what it's our displacement that this uh, uh, this plunger will move inside this cylinder. So then now we're going to have um, a formula saying a uh, force or oh, area multiplied by uh, by a length or stroke length. This one it's equal to one is equals to volume we know that volume is equals to pi d squared over 4 multiplied by uh stroke uh stroke length and then uh this length oh this one it's right this one is a formula for area so then we can substitute now to say this formula is equals to one it's equals to pressure multiplied by volume so this is what's right the formula for work done right so what then um so but then we can say um this formula em is is what you call our swept volume right so the swept oh, come on man okay i'm receiving a call here uh, but then uh it's, it's 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 okay so uh um as the formula here this one is what you call our swept volume so a swept volume is equally equals to volume number uh, two minus by volume number one we this one so now we can then conclude and say uh, the formula for work done it's equals to pressure into final volume minus initial volume so this is the formula that we're going to use uh, in the uh, process of heating of gas so this is our formula for what you call for work done okay so now let's go to our processes remember we said um last time we, we, we discussed our uh, processes right so um process we said uh this one it's at it's um so process we said it's a um it's when a subject at um when a subject it's uh, sorry, okay, uh, but then we say the process is when a subject changes uh, by means of operation or when it's uh, a subject it say it's undergoing a process we say it is changing by a step by step. So now when you have uh, when we're going to um, heating of gas, we have um, we're going to look at uh, certain processes. The first process, uh, what we talk about, we talked about the, the first process, which is our um, uh, constant volume. No? So the constant volume uh, process, we said uh, the final pro uh, volume or the initial volume is equal to the final volume. 
on what you call on a process or on a heating of uh, of, 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 of sorry on the const uh, sorry my mind is not here today but then okay when we're talking about um, the uh, constant um, volume process we say this volume is the same or oh, the final is the same as the initial so this gave us that from the formula of work done work done we said is pressure equal multiplied by final minus initial so that means and under constant volume therefore you don't have what you call you don't have work done so that means work done is close to zero because this one will be the same as this one will give you zero here multiplied by this number you're going to have um no long no work done and then uh when we talk about the heat energy we said heat energy is equal to work done plus uh internal heat energy right so if uh we, we don't have work done here which is close to zero we can then say the heat uh, release or heat uh, or heat gain as equals to uh, your internal heat energy and your internal heat energy under uh, constant volume as equals to mass uh, the specific uh, heat capacity of a constant volume um, multiplied by t2 minus t1 so this is it this is your formula for uh, internal heat energy or the heat energy the heat that is received or rejected under what you call under a constant um, volume so under a constant volume process so this uh, constant volume process is also called an iso uh, isometric right so if you say this is undergoing an isometric process so we're talking about that constant volume um, and then uh, sometimes they can say it's an iso, um, it's an iso chloric, right? Process is still the same thing. Okay. Then now let's move to our our constant. Um, so number two, we have uh, the constant pressure. No? So the constant pressure we said as pressure number one would be equal to pressure number two. Um, okay so pressure number one will be equal to pressure number two so in this case uh, we always have what you call we always have our heat energy equals to uh, change in internal heat energy plus work uh, work done this is the same formula here so internal heat energy and this one so our internal heat energy in this case is going to be our mass cp and then t2 minus t1 this is our change in internal heat energy and then our work done uh, will be the same as what the work done will be the same as uh, the first one which is p into v2 minus v1 and then we have what to call we have the internal heat energy so then uh, to summarize uh, this thing, we can then say uh, the internal heat energy in this case is equal to the, um, so then uh, we also have what you called uh, our polytropic process. Um, so number three, let me write it here. Number three, we have uh, a polytropic process. So polytropic process of gases. Uh, right so the polytropic uh, is actually combining the two of uh, the two the two process right and then in the polytropic uh, it uh, it uses the formula of p v to the power n equals to constant this means that uh, the first process can be equal to the second process so this is n you can say it's two two this is one and one then we can uh, again we can go on and say p3 v3 is equal to n so this n is what you called our indexed indexed so uh, this n is our index and then we have the final pressure uh, initial pressure uh, uh, multiplied by 
the initial volume to the power n is equal to uh, this one. So it uses uh, this formula. So therefore, if it will, we find on your question and then the saying the process and that is under gold, it's uh, respecting this process, uh, this formula. That means it's a polytropic uh, process. And then under polytropic process, um, we can then say the uh, work done in this case it's equals to uh, it's equals to pressure number one. Uh, so I'm low on light here. Okay, but then we can say it's pressure number uh, one v1 minus pressure number two and v2 all over n minus one so this is a formula for work done under a polytropic process and then 